Have you ever wanted to do like a magazine layout with your post, but you're not too sure how to apply? It's really, really simple with the Elemental Loop Grid. You got to make sure you got Flexbox containers, Loop Grid, 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 grid all activated within the Elemental features. And what we have over here is a loop grid. This is pretty substandard, okay? I'm showing three columns. I've got six items on the page. There's no masonry effect, anything like that going on. If I go and hit edit template, and by the way, when you first drop a loop grid in, you would have to click um, create template and then you would create it. And what we have over here is just basically the post title and the post excerpt. That's it. I haven't put a read more button in there. I haven't put what date it was created or anything like that. I'm trying to think of like a magazine or a newspaper layout where you just have articles. Now what I'm going to do is copy this container because I'm going to create an alternate template and I'm only going to use this in a certain place. So all you do is copy the container. You can either do it over here. We can go to your navigator and click copy. The reason being is because it speeds things up when we get to the next step. Then hit save and back. Now we're going to go and add in a template or an extra one to our loop grid because we're already using a template. This is what we've created on screen. So I'm going to say apply an alternate template. I'm going to click this and rather than picking one that's already built, I'm going to hit create template, hit save, and then it's going to take us to another screen. And into here, I'm now going to paste what we already copied over. So we still have the, uh, the title and the excerpt. I'm then going to go and grab in the featured image widget, drop that in below the title. So now it sits between the title and the excerpt, set it to be a full. And I'm going to go and set the height for this to be 200 pixels like that. And I'm also going to set the object fit to be cover. And then I can mess around with the positioning over center, center, top, left, right, all of that. You, you know the drill. I will then double check what it looks like in the mobile responsive and tablet and all of that. And then I would have gone and hit update. Now, when you do an alternate template, you don't get the save and back option. Don't worry about that. Just go and hit X and close down. Now we're back into our loop grid. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to type in loop and our new template is now available over there. If you are using a naming convention, look for your name. I have found though the naming conventions don't always work very well. So just leave it as it is with the elemental loop item, hashtag 40395678686, whatever. But you will notice that nothing's really changed at the moment. That's because we haven't told it the position in the grid. So I'm going to go and say put it as a three. So what you'll now see is we get our layout and then we get a different kind of looking item. Now, I don't like the fact that we have color because I'm going for a magazine newspaper layout. So we are going to grayscale that or saturate the image in a moment. But what I will do is say only apply this once. So you might only apply this in certain points because if you have it applying every two and every three, it then starts to look very similar to any other loop grid with an alternate template. I want a very specific look here. I just want text. But for certain items, I don't really care which one it is because they'll change every time you add in a new blog post. I want to show off the image. While we're here, let's just clean up this image. Let's go back to edit the template. Click on the image, go to style, go to CSS filter, and I'm going to just saturate the image entirely. I'm just going to increase the brightness a little bit just because sometimes when you saturate, it looks a little bit dull. So just increase the brightness a bit. You can now see that our image has been saturated, but the look of it isn't looking great. Again, this is something we've covered in other videos. Just go back into your loop grid, and go and make it be a masonry effect like that. And I might as well just increase the number of posts we have now. What I now have is a newspaperish layout. You will notice though that this template has got 50 pixels added at the padding at the bottom to push things away. If you think that's too much, go and decrease it. And you can mess around with the number of columns or number of items. And are you going to apply it once or every three or four items? And you can start to get a very magazine kind of look for your loop grid. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that. Stash.